They Flee From Me by Sir Thomas Wyatt 1503 to 1542 They flee from me that sometime did me seek with naked foot stalking in my chamber I have seen them gentle, tame and meek that now are wild and do not remember that sometime they put their s themselves in danger to take bread at my hand, and now they range, busily seeking with a continual change. Thanked be fortune, it has been otherwise, twenty times better, but once in special, in thin array, after a pleasant guise, when her loose gown from her shoulders did fall, and she caught me in her arms, long and small, and therewith all sweetly did me kiss, and softly said, Dear heart, how like you this? It was no dream, I lay broad walking, but all is turned through my gentleness into a strange fashion of forsaking, and I have leave to go of her goodness, and she also to use new fangledness, but since that I so kindly am served, I would fain know what she has deserved. <laughs> okay, this poem is by Sir Thomas Wyatt. Thomas Wyatt was a poet and a politician in the court of Henry VIII. And let's see, this poem is written in the lyrical voice. And it's talking about uh, a woman who uh, was his, his girlfriend, who was... Uh, very close to him but now she ignores him she's not interested in him anymore um, I get the feeling that this Sir Thomas Wyatt was a real ladies man always uh, seeing if he could score with the ladies but well let's see they flee from me that sometime did me seek so somebody they i think they in this case is just a single person um she runs away from me but in the past she was always looking for me yeah and she would uh look for me with bare feet stalking in my chamber so to stalk is like um a wild animal hunting its prey yeah, so um, she used to to stalk me, to come after me. She really wanted me. She thought I was wonderful. Um, but now she runs away from me. I have seen them gentle, tame and meek. That now a wild and do not remember. So I remember her being gentle and kind uh, with me uh, and to me. Um, and here this is a metaphor like a wild animal. Yeah. Um, and she's now a wild animal again to me and she runs away. And she doesn't remember that sometimes they put themselves in danger to take bread at my hand. So this this is like a metaphor of a wild animal that comes and takes bread from your hand, yeah, and trusts you and is gentle and tame and humble, yeah? But this is in the past. And he's saying that th this woman, she was like um, a wild animal that was... Uh, tame to him that would come and eat from his hand and put herself in, in, in a dangerous position. But that's not true anymore. Now she is wild. She's running around. And now they range busily seeking with a continual change. 
So, but this is no longer true. She, she will no longer come tamely and meekly to eat bread out of his hand, but is now a wild animal and won't go near him. Thanked be fortune, it has it hath been otherwise, twenty times better. So, in the past, it was different, yeah. N now she runs away from me, but in the past, it was things were wonderful. And then he talks about a sp specific time, but once in special. In special, in thin array, after a pleasant guise, um, when her loose gown from her shoulders did fall, and she caught me in her arms, long and small. So now he's remembering the past, how um, she would come to him, and he's remembering a time when she's wearing a loose dress and it falls from her shoulders. And I guess he sees her, sees her full body. And she takes him in her arms. And therewith all sweetly did me kiss. And she would kiss me gently and softly say, Dear heart, how do you like this? So in the past she was loving and gentle and uh, she wanted to be with him. Yeah, but now this is not true. It was no dream. I lay broad walking. So this that I remember, it wasn't a dream. It was reality. I was completely awake. But all is turned through my gentleness into a strange fashion of forsaking. So I think he now he's saying that he's blaming himself. He's saying that he was too gentle with her, and for the re for re the reason of being so gentle with her, now she has forsaken him. She's turned her back on him. Yeah. So he was too good. He was too gentle. And I have leave to go of her goodness. Okay, so she's told me to leave. She don't, she's not interested. Yeah, um, she doesn't want uh, want to want him around uh, a her. Yeah, he he doesn't want. She doesn't want him him near her. And she also to use newfangledness. So newfangled is something different. So I think this is saying that now she's looking for new relationships and new people and she doesn't want me any more. But since that I, I so kindly am served, I would fain to know what she hath deserved. So here he's saying, well, she's finished with me. Yeah, she thinks she gave me uh uh what what i i um I, what was enough for me and i would like to know now what will happen to her what she what she will deserve in the future so let's see um it's a poem about uh, about a relationship that's ended um and Sir Thomas Wyatt is complaining that she doesn't love him anymore. She doesn't want to be with him anymore. But I think I can understand it as well because I think this guy is just looking for the main chance and trying to seduce the ladies. But maybe that was the thing at the court of Henry VIII. So enough. If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating, subscribe to my channel and I will see you soon. Bye for now. They flee from me by Sir Thomas Wyatt.